Yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. E, and I will be doing a lot of your math lessons this year. Um, so typically what will happen is I'll roll through a topic that we're going over. Sometimes it might be brand new. Sometimes it might be something you guys have done for a little bit, um, but we'll go through it together. Hopefully have some fun along the way because that's the best way to learn for sure. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to get this going. So today we're going to learn about something called the triangle method. You might be thinking, oh, we're going to be learning about shapes, but you're going to see in just a second, okay? So first off, let's talk about two different things, okay? We have two number sentences here, okay? We have one at the top, 5 plus 8 times 3. And we have one at the bottom, y equals 5 minus 2 divided by 2. Now, I want you to think carefully and think, what is the difference between these two number sentences? you can see that this number sentence has an equal sign, while this number sentence does not have an equal sign. So the reason why this is important to know is because these two things have different names. The top thing is called an expression. That means it does not have an equal sign. And the bottom number sentence is called an equation. And that means it does have an equal sign. And the way I remember it is that equals is almost in the word equation. So the top number sentence is an expression, and with expressions, we simplify or make them smaller, and with equations, we solve them. And a lot of times in equations, you're gonna have an unknown variable that's represented by a letter. Sometimes we use X, sometimes we use Y. You can use anything, though. It's just a placeholder. You could use a smiley face. You could use a potato. It doesn't really matter, okay? So it is important to know the differences between expressions and equations. Now, as I look at these two, this expression and this ex equation, I notice that it has more than one step. And one thing that you may not know is that when an expression or an equation has more than one step, you have to do it a certain way. So let's talk a little bit about that, okay? So everything in life has order, right? You know, we have to have a certain way to do it. There's got to be structure. There's policies and procedures we have to follow. So it's the same way when we're doing math, okay? I think of this as the order of operations, okay? So it's figuring out which operation we're going to do first, which one we do second, and so on and so forth, okay? I also think of this kind of like when you're at school. You have a certain way that you line up. Sometimes it's number order. Sometimes it's boy girl order. Sometimes it's a crazy order because your teacher knows that you're going to be talking to somebody in the hallway. Good thing you don't have to worry about that these first three weeks. You can talk as much as you want at home. Okay. But this order of operations, we like to call it PEMDAS. Okay. And you might have heard of PEMDAS before as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I really wonder what Aunt Sally is doing. Is she doing something crazy? But that's a good way to remember. PEMDAS, okay? And what PEMDAS stands for, for math terms, is parentheses, exponents. I wouldn't really worry about exponents. We're going to learn more about that in sixth grade, but do know that that is a part of PEMDAS. And you have multiplication and division. Notice that they're both blue, because multiplication and division go together, okay? They're kind of the same, just opposites. And then the same thing with addition and subtraction. They're both green. They kind of work the same. They're just opposites, okay? So typically, when we write out PEMDAS, we're going to write it like this, where we have the P at the top for parentheses, E here for exponents, M and D are going to be side by side. And the reason why we have it side by side is if you have an expression or an equation where you have both multiplication and division, you do whatever comes first, left to right. So it's first come, first serve, okay? Same thing with addition and subtraction. You just do whatever it says from left to right, first come, first serve. So I don't want us to make the mistake that, oh, multiplication always comes before division, because it doesn't. They work the same. So it's first come, first serve. So if I had an expression or equation that had division before multiplication, I would do that division first because it's first come, first serve, okay? So PEMDAS is a really, really good way to help us simplify expressions and solve equations. So let's take a look at an expression here, okay? Remember that this is an expression because there is no equal sign, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna annotate this and we're gonna solve this problem, okay? The first thing that I like to do before I even start trying to solve the problem is I like to write PEMDAS on the side. This way I can make sure I'm going through all my order of operations and getting everything correct, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna look for is parentheses. 
I don't see any parentheses, and we're actually going to learn a little bit more about parentheses next time. Um, so we're not even going to worry about that one. That one's done. Check, and we're done. Okay. Exponents. You're not going to have to worry about exponents either. Okay. That's something you learn more about in sixth grade, but I do want to make sure that you guys understand that that is a part of PEMDAS. Okay. So then what we're going to look for is multiplication and division. And do we have anything that has multiplication and division in it? We absolutely do. So we have eight times three. So what we would do is we're going to do eight times three first rather than five plus eight. Okay. So I underline just those two numbers and the operation and I solve it. Okay. You only want to do one step per line. If you try to do more than one, it's going to make it a little bit harder. Okay. Now something that's really important to do though, before you do any more math, you want to make sure you bring down the rest of your expression. Okay. So now, I have five plus 24. Then I look at this expression again. Do I have any more multiplication or division? Nope, I don't, so that's done. And then do I have any addition or subtraction? I do. So I underline this step, five plus 24 equals 29. And that's our answer. Now, if you want to, while you're solving, go off to the side and stack up the numbers and do that standard of algorithm, that's totally fine, okay? So now you might be wondering why we call this the triangle method. Do you see we started with a really big expression and we simplified it more and more and more until it became one small number. And that is the triangle method. Whoa, what was that? That was a little weird. Anyways, I wanna talk about something really quickly. Because we followed it, the order of operation, we got that answer of 29. Let's remember that number as I show you guys something else, okay? So we've got 29. That was our answer, and that is the correct answer. Let's say we didn't follow an order of operations. Let's say we just went left to right and did it however we wanted. So we would start with 5 plus 8. And that would get us 13, okay? Before we do any more math, we always like to bring down the rest of our expression. And then we have 13 times 3. And 13 times 3 would get us... 39. And that is not the right answer. Eh, wrong. We know that the correct answer is 29. So I hope you guys see how important it is to follow PEMDAS and follow that order of operation. Because if you do it a different way, you're going to get a different answer. All right. Let's see if we can practice one more. All right, so you notice in this one, we actually have more than three steps. Sometimes you're gonna have four steps, five steps, a million steps. We would never make you do a million steps. That'd be way too many, okay? So the first step, anytime you're using the triangle method, is write that PEMDAS off on the side. I promise you it takes one little extra step, but it's a good reminder as you're doing the steps, okay? So we look for any parentheses. Uh, there's no parentheses, so check mark, we're done. Don't even have to worry about exponents because we're gonna learn about that more in sixth grade. Now, multiplication and division. Notice M and D are right next to each other, so we do first come, first serve from left to right. So just because the M comes before the D, that doesn't mean I'm going to do 3 times 7 first. Uh-uh. I'm going to do 10 divided by 5 first, okay? I want to make sure I get that done first. So 10 divided by 5 would get me 2. Before I do any more math, I'm going to rewrite the rest of my expression. That addition sign got a little wonky on me, okay? Now that the rest of the equation or the expression is written, I'm going to check again. Is there any more multiplication and division? I do have multiplication, so I'm going to do this step next. I'm going to do 3 times 7. And 3 times 7 would get us 21. Before I do any more math, I'm going to rewrite the rest of my expression. Then I check. Do I have any more multiplication or division? Nope. We do not have any more multiplication or division. So the last step is addition. So we're gonna add these two numbers together to get us 23. Good old Michael Jordan's number. Did any of you guys watch the last dance over quarantine? That was a lot of fun. And yeah, there we go. We solved our, or simplified our expression. We've got our triangle and we've got our answer. So a lot of times in the past when I taught, my students would say, when we get the correct answer, that's Illuminati confirmed, means we got the right answer. So triangle method, that's gonna be the way that you simplify expressions, solve equations, and you really need to remember that order of operations with PEMDAS. 
please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. If you can remember that, you can solve any expression or equation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you guys. We miss you a lot. And we'll see you next time. Bye.